Jared, who would have known that a simple hug two years ago would bring us here today? The last two years have been absolutely amazing. You and the kids are such a blessing in my life. I thank God every day for the three of you. I know that He has brought us together for a reason. I'm so excited to begin this journey with you and the kids. I don't know where life may take us, but one thing that I do know for sure is that I will always love you fiercely even when we argue about the expensive lights. Today, in front of our friends and family, I become your wife. And as your wife, I vow to always stand beside you through the good, the bad, and the ugly. I vow to live life to the fullest and always be up for whatever adventures life may take us on. I vow to never go to bed angry and to always talk things out when something is bothering me. But most importantly, I vow to keep God in the center of our family and to always love you without end. Meredith, today I stand before you, our family, and God to declare my love for you. You have truly been a blessing to both the kids and to me. I promise to always be open-minded and level-headed and always put your wants and needs before my own, even during turkey season. I only hope and pray that we find the everlasting love both our parents and our grandparents have found so that we too can argue over the expensive lights. I want to welcome and on behalf of Jared and Meredith, thank each of you from the depths of our hearts for, for coming out and being a part of their special day Today where we have gathered in the sight of God to witness and to bless the joining together of Jared Hartiz and Meredith Stemple in Christian marriage. The covenant of marriage was established by God who created us, male and female, for one another. He graced the wedding at Cana in Galilee and in his sacrificial love, he gave us the example for a love between a husband and a wife. Today, Jared, and Meredith come to give themselves to one another in this holy heaven. sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. This ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You'll repeat after me. Jared, with this ring. Jared, with this ring. I thee win. I thee win. I give you this ring. 
I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. The Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. And amen. Amen. <laughs> Jared and Meredith will also have the Unity Cross as part of their ceremony this day. And as we construct the cross, what it's going to do is it's going to stay in their home forevermore. And each day that you look at it, you're going to remember back to this day and remember about the power of the love that God has for each and every one of us. In Ephesians, we are taught that husbands are to love their wives just as Christ loves the church, totally and completely giving himself to her. The base of the sculpture represents the cornerstone of God's presence that will support your marriage all the days of your lives. Jared, if you'll take the cross. I had the wrong cross. <laughs> Now the inner cross. The Bible teaches us that the woman was taken from the man. The bride's piece of the unity cross represents the beauty and the many capabilities of the woman. Designed with intricate, beautiful, and detail, placed inside the protection of the groom's cross, completing the sculpture and representing that the two lives become one. Also in this cross is the form of an old rugged cross which displays that Christ will be at the center of your faith. Place that in the outer cross. Then to complete, we've got three pegs, which are in the form of the nails that were used at the crucifixion. These three pegs represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the reason that they're fate shaped in the form of the spikes at the crucifixion, is so that each day that you look at it, you remember about the great love that Christ has for each and every one of us. Jared and Meredith, I hope and pray that you keep this on display in your home in a place that you'll see it each and every day. And every day that you see it, you will be reminded of your love for one another. But more than that, I pray that you experience the power of Christ's love each and every day, and that you learn to share it with everyone that you come in contact with. Amen. You have declared your consent and your vows before God and before these witnesses. So may God confirm your covenant and fill you both with his amazing grace. And friends, now that Jared and Mary have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, with the joining of hands and with the giving and receiving of rings, I am proud to announce to you that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and what God has joined together let no man dare tear apart. All right, Jared, it's your big moment. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. Well, to start off, for those of you who may not know Meredith very well, she's intelligent, faithful to the Lord, loving, selfless, relentlessly stubborn, and has a humongous heart. I mean truly, a huge heart. She loves anyone the moment she meets them and will instantly give them the shirt off of her back. She's the type of girl that lights up a room with simply one smile and a few words. Having a sister-in-law is one of the greatest things I've been able to experience in life. I tried to find some key memories that I could share to show why I love Meredith, but I found out that there are no key memories. It's actually the sum of all the experiences we have shared, from the daily little things to the life-changing events, which have created the deep bond that I feel for her. Meredith, don't ever change the beauty that lies deep within your soul. 
You are truly one of the most amazing people I've had the pleasure of knowing in my life. Noah and Aubrey. For the last two years, I've had the great opportunity of being so involved in your lives and building such great relationships with each of you. I've watched you grow in many ways. I can't begin to explain the joy that the two of you have brought me. I'm often reminded of a poem, not flesh of my flesh, nor bone of my bone, but still miraculously my own. Never forget for a minute, you grew not under my heart, but in it. I may not have been there for your first breath or your first steps, as that just wasn't God's plan. But God's plan did bring us here today. So as I enter your family today, I vow to you both that I will always support you, encourage you, share happy moments, smiling and laughing with you, to be there for you when you just need a friend, to treat you as my own, and to always love you without end.